Hi guys, I'm back. I know it's been absolutely ages since my last video and you must be sick of hearing me start my videos in this way by saying, you know, I'm sorry it's been ages, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to make any excuses. I will just tell you that I've been away in the States for a couple of weeks. Um, prior to that, obviously, I was quite busy getting everything ready, um, the paperwork and flights and whatnot. Um, when I got back, to be honest, I have just been way too jet-lagged to do much of anything. I've been just about managing to get myself to and from work, and apart from that, not all that much else. Um, I'm only just starting to feel back to normal, and it's been about two weeks since I got back, honestly. This is the worst I've ever felt jet lag. Even when I went to Cuba and Mexico and stuff before, I've never felt it like this. It's really just, yeah, bad. <laughs> There's no other word for it. Um, but I'm just about back to normal anyway, like I said, so thought I'd film a video for you, um, give you some updates. There's not all that much to say. Um, had there been anything important, I would have made an effort to squeeze in a 10 minute one, maybe, if there'd been anything um, really important that, you know, you might have needed to know. As it happens, luckily for me, um, there hasn't been anything that's, you know, groundbreaking that's happened and nothing that's affected um, the appearance of my teeth significantly enough to show you, basically. So, um, all of this to say that now I do have news for you, and it's probably going to come as quite a surprise. Before I do that though, I know you're probably thinking that I got really, really dolled up for this video, but I swear I didn't. I was at work all day with my hair in a bun. This is actually my second day hair, which would usually be like, yee, the time to wash it. Because <laughs> I've got quite oily hair, it's always been like the bane of my life. Anyway, I had my hair up in a bun today, just a messy one that I didn't even pay much attention to. And just now I was gonna just take it out and go to bed and chill and watch TV and film this tomorrow, actually, in the morning. Uh, but then my hair did this when it came out of the bun, so I thought I would film the video now and make use of the nice hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, if any of you want to know how I did it, it was just a messy bun. Literally just swirled the hair around all in the same direction, wrapped it around the top of my head, had it in all day for like nine hours, and then took it out and this is what it looks like. And this has never happened to me before, ever. And definitely never when I needed it to. If I ever try to do anything like this, it always fails. This only happens when I don't have anything to do or anywhere to go. So, anyway. Um, yeah, last time I saw my orthodontist was just over a week ago and he told me that my teeth are very close to being finished, which is obviously extremely good news. Um, but he did say that if I keep the incognito braces because they're on the inside, they're more difficult to work with, um, it's probably going to take another six months minimum to get my teeth done. Oh, I think I'm losing the light, sorry, it's a bit late here. Um, Basically, yeah, it's going to take probably another six months to get my teeth done if I keep the incognitos. I'm kind of getting to the point with them where I'm really sick of them, and when I pay too much attention to them in my mouth, I just feel like I want to rip them out. You know, like when you have um, one of those pains, like almost a tickly pain, and it makes you want to, I don't know, I'm going to sound like a total weirdo now, but, you know, if something's giving you a certain kind of pain, it almost makes you want to hurt it more to kind of make it go away, if that makes any sense. Yeah, okay, I'm a freak. But, um, basically, I want to tear them out of my mouth most of the time these days because I'm just getting really sick of them. I'm getting sick of my food getting all trapped in them and having to brush my teeth ten times a day. Um, yeah, I'm just... I think I've reached my breaking point. It's been over a year now that I've had them and I just like I'm getting really annoyed. So basically he said that if I keep these like I said it's going to be at least another six months or I have the option at no extra cost which is very nice on his part to offer this he would fit me with regular braces on the outside and that will only take another three months possibly less to finish. And on top of that, he feels like he can get a more precise result finishing off the whole treatment with regular braces rather than carrying on with the incognitos because 
I don't know if it's for my case specifically or just down to what he is used to. Sorry, I'm going to try and move into the light a bit more for you. It could be down to what he's used to as well, but basically he, he feels like he's going to be able to work better with regular braces on me. Obviously it's still up to me and, you know, I don't know, I did, I had to think about it a lot when he first offered me this because the whole point of me getting the incognito braces, as you know if you've watched some of my earlier videos, is that I absolutely did not want to go through the whole experience again like I did when I was a teenager and just, you know, feel so uncomfortable and not want to smile because of the braces there and having the incognitos has made it so much better. I've been fine to wear lipstick, I've been fine to smile, I've felt comfortable even though I've been gappy from time to time and my teeth have looked kind of weird at certain parts of the treatment, it's been much better to me you know, I felt much more confident anyway than having the usual outer braces. But, having said that, halving the treatment time for this last bit is so tempting to me that I think I'm actually going to go for it. I have a provisional appointment in two weeks time to get my um, braces traded for normal ones. So, I think that I'm going to go for it. I mean, you guys could please please actually please do give me your opinion and um, leave comments or message me and let me know what you think I should do um, I'm I think I'm gonna do it I'm, I'm probably about 98% sure that I'm gonna do it I am gonna feel really awkward for those three months and um, it will be difficult at times I know that but at the end of the day the reason that I'm doing this is for the end result it's so that I get my nice smile for the rest of my life and then once it's done I don't have to worry about it ever again and yeah that's that'll be me done forever so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do but like I said give me your opinions please a lot of people that I've asked who know me have said well wasn't the whole point not to do that and doesn't that kind of contradict what you were going for and yes it does but at the same time, when you reach this point in your treatment, you just want everything to be done, you just want to be brace-free. And even though it means three months of awkwardness, I'll be brace-free all the sooner. So... I don't know. I need help. <laughs> um, yeah, let me show you what my teeth look like now. Because they're really nearly done. Basically, he needs to rotate these two teeth over here because those two haven't rotated despite being moved around and um, then the very last thing is to correct my slight overbite which will mean moving the front four teeth back slightly and then obviously he'll tighten everything up so this is what they look like Um, they also need centering a little bit more as well because I noticed after he had, um, oh, sorry, after he'd recentered the two front teeth, I noticed that they did actually move back over a little bit. But he said that's no problem; he can correct that. Uh, so yeah, I've just realised that this video has gone on for over eight minutes. So I'm gonna let you go now because I'm sure if you haven't turned the um, video off already, you're getting sick of hearing the sound of my voice. So, um, and I know I've been really rambly in this video, and I'm sorry, it's probably just because it's the first one I've done in ages, so I'm just not used to filming anymore. Uh, but I'll get back into it, and I'll keep you guys updated, and I will reply to any comments and any messages that you guys leave me. And I hope that if any of you are mid-treatment at the moment, everything's going well. And I hope that if you are still considering that my videos are still helping. Uh, once again, just let me know if you need anything, and I'll see you next time. Bye!